Hello everyone, I'm back with another tutorial for Anime Studio Pro 9. From the last tutorial you should already have two layers in your mouse switch layer, one open and one closed, or rest. Duplicate the open mouse and call it AI. Now adjust the points to make it look like the mouth is saying A or I. You can group points so that you can move all points at once instead of selecting the same points over and over, like I did in the video. For AI, it's better that the bottom teeth are hidden. Make sure to cover it with the skin. Bring the teeth a little bit lower. Adjust the line width to make the lines thinner. After you're done, duplicate the layer AI and call it E. For the shape E, make the teeth partially visible. Bring up the bottom half of the mouth and also the corner. Adjust the lines on top a little bit. You can change the line width if you like. Make sure that the bottom teeth aren't protruding too much and that they're always going to be more to the right than the top teeth. If you want, you can change the tongue color as I'm doing right now. Make sure to save from time to time because you don't want to lose your work as you're working on it. Duplicate AI and call the layer L. For this layer, the bottom teeth are hidden and the tongue will be pointing towards the upper teeth. You, want, you might want to raise the co corner of the mouth and add more points to the tongue to make a better shape. I noticed I forgot to include the bottom lip in the new layers that I created, so I copied that into the new layers, and then I tweaked some points a little bit to make it look great with the other layers, of course. Also, you should adjust the width of the lines. Now duplicate L 
and call it FV. For this shape, you won't be needing the tongue, so you can just delete that. You will need both teeth together and the bottom lip to be of a squiggly shape. Now duplicate FV and call it etc. Delete the extra points that we made for FV. This mouse shape is used for everything else that, for every other mouse shape that we did not create. So really you can make it any way you want. I find it best that the teeth are closed and a little apart. But it's really up to you how you want the etc. layer to be. Check to see that all the layers flow well together because remember they will be used for lip sync and if they do not interact well with one another then it, the lip sync will look off so spend some time getting the lips to go well together The easiest mouse shape is MVP because all you have to do is duplicate the rest layer. You can adjust it a little bit but I just leave it the same as rest. The last three shapes are OU and WQ which are not very different from one another. You can actually keep them the same as I usually do. To get started, duplicate L and call it O. Select all, control A, and scale it horizontally. It's gonna look off at first, but you just need to tweak it a little. Uh, expand the tongue and hide the teeth on top. The bottom teeth should not be visible. Just align with. For this mouse shape, I usually have the top teeth hidden, but I decided to make it partially visible this time. If you find points snapping to unwanted places, as I did, just disable auto weld. To manually weld, you can click on space as you're dragging the point. I decided to tweak the U shape a little bit 
but this is really optional because it will look about the same regardless of whether I change the points around or not. I made WQ exactly like you. And I renamed mouth to relaxed. And then I put it into another mouth layer. And this is just in case if you want to switch expressions on the character's face, you can do it using switch layers if you prefer that over action or smart bones. When you have everything ready, you can start lip syncing. You would go into layer settings and then click on the switch layer. Then you find a switch file and you can create a switch file in a program called Papagayo. I'm, right now I'm gonna test one that I already had before. It could use a little work, but it's not too bad. This is just a very basic mouth for lip syncing. This is Papagayo, and this is how you can create a mouse switch. First, you would have to import a wave file. I believe it. you can only import wave files. You can scrub through the audio, you type the text, and you break it down. And then you adjust it to fit the audio. It's pretty simple, but it's very useful. And this is not actually what is said, but I just did this for the purpose of this video. At the end, you should have something like this once you import it. And you're done. Thank you for watching.